I freaking can. Okay. <sighs> so, um, happy Wednesday since I didn't watch it till today. Yeah. First Sorry. time that me and Gianna have not watched it together. I had to watch it by myself last night. That's bullshit because we didn't watch the episode before the season finale of season three together. Because what? somebody is a little bitch and started freaking bullshit back in March. But anyway. <gasps> that was you! Are you kidding me? Oh, that was We me. weren't speaking. We weren't... We weren't speaking. For like three seconds. Yeah, but still, we weren't talking. That was all you... Okay. It was hard. Who's... Anyway. Whatever. No, no. Anyway. Okay. So, um, I watched it here at Gianna's house by myself last night because Gianna had some stuff going on. Yeah, so she I had watched justified the issues. Yep. So, anyway, I just watched it. Season 4, Episode 7, Crash Burn Girl. I think I said that already. Whatever. I don't really care. Um, so, we... Uh, last night, the contest ended. And uh, congratulations to everybody out there that won. Um, we had Jessica Mendez in third place. Uh, second place, Sarah Hines. And in... Uh, first place, we had uh, Pretty Little Liar Obsessions. So, we really like everybody that... Uh, we liked every single entry we got. Um, and I know that a lot of them, uh, all three that we picked were kind of spoby ones, and that wasn't intentional. Um, they were just... Yeah, it's not, you know, like, obviously we're spoby fans, but, you know, um, her entry all all three entries were amazing but her entry like really yeah got to us. her yeah her entry it kind of like honestly the quote that she put in there it, it, whatever just you go guys know that, yeah just look at the page you'll anyway. see um so congratulations um okay. okay we'll get down to business go on okay so starting off you may read because i can't you can't read me okay so we start off with, um, you know, whatever it opens. We know that Ashley's in jail and all this stuff's going on. And what kind of what kind of got me is um, they said that um, Hannah's father is not letting Hannah attend any of the meetings on uh, like what's going on with her. I mean, she's going to see her and visit her, but. Um, when, like, when she's visiting her, they're not really talking about her case or anything like that. So Hannah's kind of, like, out of the loop. Um, her father's not letting her attend any of the meetings or anything. So. Which, on his part, that is such BS. Like, I understand. Like, if, if he's coming from a father's perspective, he probably just wants to protect his daughter from and, it. And, and I mean, that's but, understandable. But at the same time, it's, it's her mother. Her mother yeah. You know? Like. Yeah. Hello? Um, yes. Freaking. Whatever you want to call them, Co yes. Kobe or Taylor, Caleb. whatever the hell you want to call them, <laughs> uh, bromance to the max, and I'm loving Loved it. it. Yeah. Loved it. Sexy. Loved it. Now, they're the sexiest couple on PLL. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So, uh, what, what stood out to me is um, Emily's mom lets uh, Emily know that somebody at the station um, let uh, like let her mother know about the shots that she uh, can get that'll help her out. Now, now my thing is nothing. Ha I, this could absolutely be just nothing, but um, I think that they kind of wanted us to know that it was somebody down at the station that had like referred them to do it you know what I mean because otherwise she would have just said like oh we talked to your doctor or whatever and there's another alternative um but I don't know that kind of stood out to me and the way she said it was kind of a little just weird so yeah that was bizarre because who the hell down at the station gives two flying shits as to what is going on with Emily's shoulder and furthermore why didn't her mother, Pam, why didn't she say who the hell it was? Yeah. Like, so, I, I don't know. That whatever. was just a little strange. Somebody at the station said that you should do this. What's really pissing me off, though, is Emily's mother is pissing me off to the max. Emily's getting text messages from Hannah, and Emily's mom, uh, Pam tells her, you know, I think you should stay away, like, from Hannah. She's going through a lot of stuff right now. I think it's in your best interest to stay away. You know, people talk. First of all, since season one, all Pam has been worried about is what people are saying about them. And that pisses me off. 
I, I like Emily's parents, don't get me wrong, but I just feel like Pam is so, like, concerned with how everybody else thinks. What kind of example is that setting for your daughter? You, you know Hannah, Pam. You know friggin' Hannah, okay? Uh, you know Ashley Marin. With the stuff that's going on with you right now, with being, like, looked at as somebody who abuses their child, uh, you should understand that people get accused of things that they do not do. Um, especially in this town, and it's really pissing me off that she's telling her to stay away from Hannah because she's afraid of what people are going to think Were those her, her exact words, though, or did she say, like, you know, let her... Well, she, she was like, to plus she needs to right spend now. some time yeah. with her dad. But if you go back and rewatch it, she really does. She makes it seem like, you know, I don't think you hanging out with Hannah right now is the best thing, best thing for you with everything that's going on. Like, people talk. That, that's what she said. And that's pissing me off. Like what kind of example? Uh, like what kind of example?